All right, so driving through Dumaguete, really nice weather today, ridiculously hot and sunny. This is Lee Plaza. Just gonna go do some shopping at the mall. Get some free aircon. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, look at these guys. So apparently this is the Guinness Book, most motorbikes. Yeah, apparently in the yep. city, probably definitely per capita. But uh, yeah, look, see it's ridiculous, there's bikes everywhere. Per square meter. Yeah, per square meter, yeah. yeah. But um, yeah. Yeah, Scoobies. Besides grow. Okay, so at this like market store in the chemist or the pharmacy, and um, they got these awesome little speakers, these sound boxes. So you can put, you know, USB, memory card, whatever, right? And we're playing with it on the boat. They're really powerful. They're extremely powerful and loud. So anyway, I'm getting a couple. As you can see, they got all this stuff and uh, cheap dresses. Yeah. No, but they're, they're actually really handy. Sorry, it's getting a bit loud. Because you can plug them into your computer or you can just use them to have some music, you know, in a small group or in a hotel or whatever, you know, so. But these stores are awesome because they always have these little gadgets and little, just little hidden gems, you know, for really cheap. These are like 350 pesos, which is like not much at all. Um, yeah. Less than ten dollars. Okay. You want to grab a beer? I don't we'll go for a walk. Yeah. Just chilling out on Dumaguete Boulevard. Look at this. You can get a horse and carriage. If you want to cruise around in style. <laughs> a lot of couples. So this is basically like a uni town. A lot of a lot of universities here. And that means there's a lot of youth, a lot of youth, you know, a lot of young people. So, all right, it's cool. I was quickly filming. I love these trees. They look so nice. They're all over the city. Okay, so we're hanging out at the local university. They're showing me around, saying hello to some old friends. And uh, look, they got Milo. Milo is really popular in Australia, so they got Milo vending machine. That's cool. You know, something different. Cultural differences. <laughs> This is the old bell tower. So they used to ring it when pirates came in the old days. You see, they got barbecue and market stores. It's not part of the church. It's just one of their old, old relics, old ruins. It's cool. Sorry about the sun and the glare this afternoon. Here's the Dumaguete Cockpit and Recreation Center. Look how many bikes there are. I literally can't capture it. They go all the way down the street. But anyway, there's this huge parking lot down there before. Sorry about the glare. That's why I can't capture it. Just full of bikes. It was ridiculous. Okay, in a handyman hardware store. This is in the mall. So we just thought we'd kill some time. Look at this. Pepper spray. <laughs> and look, they just got it next to the counter. You know when you can buy bubble gum and stuff near the counter? Batteries. Pepper spray. Awesome. <laughs> okay, we're at this place, Dong Huan. D-O-N-G. Dong, as it not to be confused with Don Juan. I guess um, maybe you get the idea. If you know Don Juan. Anyway, uh, we got the famous Don Juan bacon burger and the deep fried chicken wings, they're basically like a sesame wing. Delicious, so these are spicy. Very tasty patty and burger. Awesome, and this came with fries. They're okay. These are homemade chips or potato chips, but they're really greasy, really deep fried. My life's really nice. Oh, and the iced tea. Look at that. They put it in like a milk, milk jug, it's really cool. Very nice. Look at this. They got e-cigs or electronic cigarettes as well. All the different options and flavors. We just thought something to check out. So this is actually a tobacco store. And um, check this out, something different. Thank you. All the gun lighters. That's actually a, a push dagger, like a punch dagger, but it's actually a lighter. It's cool. Just playing with it before. All the toys. Okay, and the last update. This is apparently banana ketchup. It's not like tomato paste ketchup like we have in Australia or you might find in the States. They actually make it from banana and they add flavouring. 
Pro a lot of MSG maybe? No. No? Okay, and there's also a lot of MSG here. I mean, I was at a, like a little, um, little random store stand, you know, selling drinks and cigarettes and that. And they had MSG sachets for sale as well, so, you know, they love that. Anyway, okay, so this is our Mossberg shotgun we're shooting today. It's really nice, got a nice buttstock on it. We're using arms called double up buck. Uh, it's nice. Yep. And he's uh, got a fiber optic. Oh my god, what a thing. <laughs> what is that, a Mossberg 590? 590. Yeah, 590, yeah. Alright, nice. Brandon, round two. One more. Very good. That's four shots. That's five. Oh yeah, that's five. It's empty, but okay. I'll just quickly quick do a review. It's really nice. People get scared of the shotgun recoil. It's really not that bad. I'll just open the chamber so they know it's empty. Um, it helps to have a good butt stock. We're using double up buck, which is really powerful. So we're not using like some cheap half load or whatever. But um, yeah, it's nice. You just hold it aggressively. The gun itself is heavy, so it absorbs the recoil. But it's nice. Very aggressive. Very violent. Like, you certainly wouldn't want to get shot with one. <laughs> That's nice. Alright, man. Awesome. Oh no, look what we found. <laughs> so this is actually an M4, this is a full auto. You, you can see you got your safe, your semi, and the fun switch, full auto. Uh, Norinko is actually a Chinese manufacturer. Um, they're really good. So apparently this is a chrome line barrel, 1 and 7 inch uh, twist. Look at this. Look at that mag, so it's 5.56. Five, and it's got a nice, big, aggressive muzzle brake, so low recoil. And uh, he's got an enhanced magwell and trigger gun. So it should be some fun. We're just setting up the targets now. And we'll flip it over. So it's interesting, there's no markings on this side. No manufacturer markings, but it's nice. Okay, so this is our M4. It is basically an M4 because it's full auto, uh, even though it's Chinese manufacturer. For those that don't understand, I get really excited because I never thought I'd actually touch a full auto rifle. They're extremely hard to access. And especially because I come from Australia, it's extremely expensive and hard to access firearms anyway. So we have them, but they're very basic, like bolt guns and that sort of thing. So yeah, I'm really excited. So we'll give it a go. We'll start off at semi-auto. Okay. So I'm just going for the paper, man. Just finish. You finish it? Finish. Okay. Can I go for the bottles or two? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go for one of those plastic bottles to the right. So hit it, hit it right at the bottom, hit it low. Nice one, so we're going to try and hit that one next. Good yep. fun. Okay, uh, we're going to the fun switch, we're going full auto. <laughs> Alright, nice. Better get aggressive man. Oh man. Nice man. Enough, man. That is nice. Thank I want to try that much. one. <laughs> that was nice. Man. Gen three. Gen 
Oh, that's yeah, one? No, it's Gen 4. That's a Gen 4? It's a new Gen 4. Okay, Glock 19, Gen 4. No arms, cool ammo. But the Gen 4 has got a dual recoil spring. It's got the new recoil spring, yeah? Anyway, we'll find out. All right, should be fine. Okay, just a quick post-range review. Basically, um, we had about 135 rounds of 223 uh, Remington. That's that's all the store had. Uh, otherwise, we would have shot more. Um, uh, we fired 150 rounds of arm score, nine millimeter. And as you can see, shooters gold. We got all this beautiful brass. You know, this is currency. We're actually going to trade this. We're going to give this to some friends. And the guys at the range, um, they wanted to keep it. They really, they really, really wanted it. But we're like, no, nah, that's ours. We bought it. Got to keep it. So they reload it, that's what I mean. And when you've got nice fresh brass like this, it's great to reload. But yeah. Um, we got some oil as well and some gun grease. There's some gifts. So my friends uh, here in Dumaguete, they've been really kind, taking care of me. So I get, get look, just can't speak. Got them a gift. There's um, ear protection, my Oakleys. And uh, yeah, and we got some earmuffs. Where is it? Earplugs are. They're not here. Oh yeah. Really, really handy. I mean, you really got to take care of your health. So. You know, you shouldn't be complacent. Just even get some cheap ones like this. Make sure you have something. But yeah, we also had the professional ones. But yeah, really good day. Uh, what, what else? We had 25 rounds of double up buck. Um, so it was full powered, full powered buckshot arm score. And yeah, it was an awesome day.